Yo, what is going on guys? This is DJP3Games and welcome to episode number 10 of the Pokemon Red and Blue Randomized Nuzlocke Versus. That's right, it's episode 10, we're in double digits. We are making moves out here. You know who's making moves with me? Jetpack Ahoy. What's going on you guys, Jetpack Ahoy here. Alright, so... If you guys missed last episode, make sure you guys check that link down in the description below. Make sure you guys check out all the other links as well. Um, it's, a, it's a good feeling to be in double-digit episodes, to be honest. I agree. Wholeheartedly, I agree. There, there's, there's just that point when you hit in a series, like, the first couple episodes are, like, so hype. And then by the time you just get cruising and you're like, man, like... It, it's just a... Like, this has been a fun series to go through, like... Yeah, for sure. I've had a lot of fun recording it. You know, there's a lot of nostalgia with Gen 1, and then there was a lot of shenanigans for those first couple of episodes, and now we're in the double digits and things are getting serious. Yeah, things are actually working themselves out. Things are going the right way. So, I, I am ready to uh, start the timer, All if right. you are. In 3, 2, 1, and go. Alright. Uh, so, I, so, I just I beat the rival. Correctly. Yeah. I'm going to go back and heal. To... Clem up here. Um, uh, yes, there is a uh, the Nine Tails that we caught in my party here, but it's not actually part of my party. I just haven't made it to the PC yet, so ignore that guy. Ignore the little QB there. All right, and I am going to deposit. Uh, I'm going to put okay. Tentacool in the PC, and we're going to take out yep. Dragonair. So like. Low-key, high-key, how come this chick looks like she's about to hit me with the meanest of Kamehameha waves? Because she is. Like, that's terrifying. And her legs, her legs are like bent inwards, kind of, but they don't look like they're bent at the knees, they just look like they're curved. That is aka fucking awkward, bro. Oh, Mushu's asleep. I forgot, like, whenever you put a Pokemon in the PC, it doesn't heal them in this gen. That's true. Say, uh, that is true. Got Khalifa over there about to hit you with that Kamehameha wave. Oh, whoa. That did a lot of damage. I thought it was tackle. something I said. I was like, uh, I, I, I said Khalifa. <laughs> no, no. This, uh, so I'm fighting a golem with uh, Brussel the Bellsprout, right? And it's level 14, okay. I'm level 11. Not that big of a difference. I figured it'd be okay. No, I just jumped up two levels. Um, but he hit me with a tackle attack and took me from full down to six HP. Jesus. I was terrified. I know whenever I uh, I battled like a level twelve in Mount Moon. Whenever I just got my Ghastly, and it was like level six, and it just jumped from level six to ten. Yeah, I, I, I killed like, that golem and I jumped from level eleven to level thirteen. <laughs> that was one thing that always caught me off guard in first gen was that it doesn't go through each level. Like you can just go from level one to level twenty. It's just whoop. Okay. Yeah. Cool. See, I'm kind of debating on what to do. I don't know whether I want to train up a Dragonair or not. Like, I, I think know. it would I mean, be worth it, but at the same time, I don't. That's kind of where I'm saying. Like, I'll tell you this: if it were me, I would train it. But I'm not the one playing your game, so. Yeah. Like, I've got I've got a solid four right now. Um. But I mean, Dragonair could. Definitely, you know, I'll, I'll see after I get these next two encounters kind of what the team yeah. is going to look like. That's a good plan. That's a good plan, I feel. So I, Give I think yourself that's the, the best options. Option for like, me. Don't, don't tie yourself down. You're still young. Ooh, right. Sorry, we were going somewhere else with that conversation. <laughs> Keep your options open is all I'm saying. Okay? <laughs> yeah. You got plenty of life. <laughs> Sometimes things won't go the way you want them to. <laughs> Don't get tied down early, because you never know what you're going to miss. I say that, but I got married when I was 19, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm 25, I'm, I'm not married yet, so... Yeah, uh, I met my wife when, uh, like, two months before I turned 19, and I guess I was, I guess I was 20 when we got married. So... No, was I older than that? Maybe I was 21. 21? Yeah, I was either 21 or 22, because I remember, because we, we actually, uh, fun fact, we had one of them Vegas weddings, like we ran away Ooh, to, yeah. to Vegas and got married and we got trashed. <laughs> I know my mom would kill me if I ever did that, but, you know, I'm in, I'm in no hurry. <laughs> yeah. 
no, just kind of moving along to, doing to uh, each their own. But I had a really good time with it. I do uh, regret uh, it a little bit. Not getting married, of course. I regret doing the whole Vegas wedding because, like, you know, my wife deserves to have that big wedding to make her feel special. And, um, I'm thinking because we've got like our our 10 year anniversary coming up. I'm, I'm thinking about surprising her with planning like a, a wedding, like a vow renewal kind of thing. Yeah, that that would be super dope. I think she'd like that. So. I. Mean, but I think I think her, most guys. women don't would. tell her. She doesn't <laughs> yeah. know. Most women would. Because, I mean, she's the type of woman, like, she won't outright say that she wants that. She'll be like, oh, no, I'm happy with what we did. When, like, yeah, yeah you're, sure, you're happy, but I know you want more. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I think everybody everybody wants Everybody wants to feel special. There's certain points in your life where you want to feel special about certain things. And I think that, oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, a wedding is definitely one of those things. So, she deserves that. She busts her ass for this family. Yeah, I'm just kind of at my girlfriend's bidding. Whatever she wants to do, whatever she, it's whatever she wants to do. Right. <laughs> All right. This jolt is an to level issue. 19. What up? He's got a shelter. Wouldn't be an issue, but it is an issue. Quit spamming sand attack, you piece of shit. All right. Oh. Team's looking pretty, pretty solid over here. Alright, just these sand attacks are unnecessary and it's making me very upset. And like it's like playing with me because it has Thundershock, but instead it uses sand attack and tackle and quick attack. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're just being a dick on purpose at this point. Oh, I got, I got 22 potions. I forgot I bought that many potions. <laughs> I'm not going to go back to the Pokemon Center then. I'm going to hit you with the meanest of Aurora Beams, I swear to God. Uh, what's your highest level Pokemon right now? Uh... 24. 24, okay. Mine's 20. So I'm not too far behind level-wise. No, no. You're not too far behind in the game either, really. No, you I'm just gotta making make my way across. Then... Yeah. yeah. I'm on the Nugget Bridge right now. Yeah, so you're not that far behind. Well, I'm also maintaining a well-balanced breakfast here, <laughs> so... You got a bowl of Wheaties, a glass of orange juice, and some toast? I do. I also got go. a banana. And a banana. Potassium's important, kids. Oh, yeah, definitely. You can... I mean, you could probably have too much potassium, but... I'm sure, you know, but... Ban I mean, bananas are good. A banana a day keeps the cramps away. Amen to that. <laughs> as, as somebody who, uh, you know, frequents the gym every once in a while, I can tell you, bananas are important. Oh, yeah, bananas are a staple in life when you work out a lot. Yep. Plus, I have, uh, like, a natural potassium deficiency. Like, there's been times where I wake up in the middle of the night because my leg locks up. Just this massive cramp. I I've had that happen a few times, like, in my feet. Yeah. But I think it kind of just depends on what I ate that day or how much water I drank or something. Right. But, like, bananas, like, really help to fight that sort of stuff, so. Yeah. And oh, that's, another been, thing. that's so been eating healthy with JP3 and Jetpack. Right. So, another thing, like, regarding health and all that stuff... I uh, donated blood the other day, and when I went to donate blood, they took my pulse, and it was, like, super low. Really? I was like, yeah. There were, uh, one of my friends was like, w were you, like, sleeping or something? I'm like, <laughs> dude, no. I was like, I just went over there. Like, I'm pretty sure I had just drank an energy drink or something, too. I'm surprised they let you donate if your pulse well, is low. Well, what happened is whenever they have someone's pulse is low, they call a doctor, and, like, mm -hmm. they kind of ask you some questions to make sure you're able to donate. So I was like, my pulse was like super low. It was like 46. Oh, wow. So, um, but it, like I work out four or five times a week. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm not overweight by any means or anything like that. So you just have a really low resting heart rate or what? Apparently so. Like I knew it was low before because it, it was, it had always been like in the sixties, which, yeah. you know, is, I, I think it's pretty normal, but kind of on the yeah. low side. Yeah. Um, it's just on the lower side of average, I think. Yeah, so... I mean, I'd, I'd have to look it up to know for sure, but... Yeah, I, I never worried about it or anything, and then she's like, oh yeah, it's like 46, and I was like, but it's not bad, is it? And she's like, that's <laughs> kind of low, but she's like, you know, for someone like you, it kind of just means you're, like, really healthy. Yeah. And I was like, oh. I was like, that's... Damn that's... right I am. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's nice to hear. <laughs> As you subtly flex. Ugh. Yeah. 
<laughs> so it's, always, it's always nice tired. to hear uh, yeah, you know. hear from somebody whenever you're doing good things. Yeah, for sure. All right. Oh my god, I didn't want to fight you. My That's Magmar is level twenty. All right, you son of a bitch. Cleffable. Uh, Cleffable. I got one more guy to battle on the Nugget Bridge after this one. I'm fighting the last guy before I get into Vermilion City. Gosh dang it. I'm like a full episode behind. <laughs> and I don't know how it happened. Oh my goodness, I had to cough. Ooh. I, don't, I don't know if it's just because I've been taking like time to level up my team and like make sure I'm good. I did have to grind a little bit before Brock, but... I'm not sure what happened. I mean, we restarted at the same time, didn't we? Yeah, we yeah we did. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I don't know what happened. Actually, you know what's funny? I should technically be behind you, because I remember correctly we restarted, and then I died and used my revive. Yeah. And yet, somehow, I'm ahead of you. I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Dude, I don't know either. I have no clue. Oh, you know what I think it probably attributes to? The fact that I kind of like solo ran all the way through like to the end of Mount Moon with just a Moltres. Yeah, and you weren't like switch training or trying to train people yeah. up. Yeah. I want a so. Pokemon game where they give you the option to uh, join Team Rocket. Right? I want a Pokemon game that has uh, multiple save files and difficulty settings. I agree. <laughs> oh, did you hear about the really interesting sounding like um box system for let's go eevee and pikachu i did not okay so just like your normal games you have six pokemon mm -hmm. uh, in your party right uh but apparently you carry one of your pokemon boxes like the pc boxes in your backpack interesting so you have like a whole slew of pokemon of av like uh, available to you at any time which i mean would make sense because literally like in the anime, you can shrink down the Pokeballs. You know, why, why can't I put yeah. 40 Pokeballs in my backpack? Right, and plus, like, again, in the anime, like, when you catch a Pokemon, or even in the game, you catch it, it automatically gets sent to the computer, so why couldn't it be sent to you from the computer as well? Right. You know, I just got the fishing rod, which means fishing encounters. Can you register items in this game? I feel like I mean, if I, can, if I can fit a bicycle in my backpack, I can definitely fit 40 Pokeballs. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've got a fishing rod, a, a bicycle, eight, 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 okay. So, as a matter of fact, you carry, like, up to a hundred Pokeballs in your backpack at any given time. Why can't they be filled with Pokemon? Right. Uh, I don't even have one change of clothes. My fishing encounter was a Graveler in Vermilion City. Hmm. Uh, you should be able to get one in Cerulean as well. Yeah, when I head back that way. I think I can fish in the gym, can't I? Is it is it level five though? It is level five. Hmm. It's like I might honestly might wait until I get like the super rod and go back around. Yeah. Cause if I don't need the encounters, I might as well save them. Yeah, that's true. They could okay, so come in handy level one five, day. I can't really touch it. You're gonna can... sleep forever. Well not only that, um if I remember correctly. Cause you, and, and you can only catch a Magikarp with the old rod, right? Yes. So technically speaking, every time I fish with this rod, it should be a Graveler. I think so. I'm so not sure. there's really no point in getting other fishing encounters then. Oh my god, this Poliwhirl just Unless keeps putting in I just want to have a squad sleep. of Gravelers. <laughs> I'm done with these shenanigans. Alright, caught the Graveler. What shenanigans? What's up, bro? He keeps putting me back to sleep. <laughs> uh, what do I name you? Oh, I know what I name you. I had a, uh, a golem earlier in the series. Oh, that's right, you did. Smeagol. Did I spell that right? I did not spell that right. Um, hang on. Alright. Yeah, that's G O L. Uh, and this guy's got a Jolteon. G O L. I if Jolteon's gonna have Thundershock or not. Uh, Schmeagol. Schmeagol. 
It does indeed uh, have Thundershock. I don't know if I'm gonna... I might keep him on the team. It's a typing I don't have. I might have to go back and heal after this one. Ooh, he can learn Ice Beam, bro. Because it's normally Dig. Oh, that's that's pretty neat. <laughs> How neat is that? <laughs> it's, uh, it's neat, I guess. You're, <laughs> that's uh, pretty got neat. A, a golem that can learn Ice Beam. But... <laughs> it's definitely unique. You can't tell me if it's not unique. <laughs> Yo, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm gonna go buy some Pokeballs real quick. Uh, and then I'm gonna head over to Diglett Cave and hopefully catch a level 28 something. Yeah. You hope, or you better hope it doesn't, like, body you and you can't run away. Well, it'll still be in the 20s, whatever it is. That's true. Oh my, this puppy's snoring over here. I don't know if Aww. you can hear that on the mic. No, I want to, though. <laughs> He is just out. I have access to super potions now. It's time. Mm, that must be nice. Uh, it might be. We'll find out the first time I get to use them. No, Nurse Joy, I don't want you to heal my Pokemon twice. What a surprise. Diglett's dug this long tunnel. <laughs> Alright. Show me something good, Diglett Cave. Diglett's? It's a fucking Kakuna. Ah. Uh, get wrecked. Alright, I'm gonna see what I get over here. Oh, I'm, I'm I gotta battle this trainer first. I'm this. I ran away from it. That's horseshit. I still like your feet from the grass. That's such bullshit, man. And there's Charizard in here! Oh, you just got... punked. Wow. See, I have four Pokemon at level 20 right now, which I'm not upset about. Because then I'd I can start I'd playing typing give, advantages like, pretty well. One of my toes for this Charizard right now. Yeah, it's just a toe. You don't. You don't really need it. Actually, I don't really need the Charizard either. I have a Moltres. Although Charizard's ah. actually going to learn moves, so that's like kind of. Yeah. It's one of those things, I guess. But still, that's just a slap in the face, man. Ah, uh, sure is. Let's see what my encounter is going to be, and I don't know what route this is, but ooh, it's a Chansey. Hmm. Chansey's a fickle. <laughs> she's thick thick kind, she's all kinds of thick. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> Thicker than a milkshake from Burgerville. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, you probably don't have Burgerville. I think that's like an Oregon thing. Maybe Washington. Yeah, I mean... We got, we got McDonald's. Yeah, but I mean, they're... Not exactly, like, well-known for their milkshakes. I mean, um, but I mean, then again, I don't really... I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> I mean, we got, we got Steak and Shake. And they're known for their milkshakes. <laughs> it's, it's thicker than a triple chocolate milkshake. We'll leave it at that. You know, um, like, low-key, a milkshake sounds amazing, though. It really does. Milkshake would, sounds pretty good. Especially because of how... <laughs> I don't know. What's the temperature like where you're at? Uh, right now, it's like 80. There's oh my god, I would kill for it to be 80. It's like 96 here. Good lord. And humid as can be, it's miserable. Yeah, it doesn't like you like just that. go outside and it's so muggy. Oh, okay, I'm running. Like Can't last escape. weekend. Last weekend. Oh, I, don't kill my bell sprout. Um, like literally walked outside and like within a couple minutes I was sweating. My bell sprout's dead. Okay, I might not be able to catch this Chansey. I couldn't run away from this Nidoking King and it used Thrash. Ooh, and that's rough. I wrecked my Bell Sprout. I don't even I don't even know if Chansey learns anything good. I don't think it does. Soft boiled, which I'm pretty sure you can use yeah. outside of battle in Gen 1. Which Chansey cause Chansey is just bulk. Yeah. Does it learn metronome? I feel like it should learn metronome. Uh we can find out. Chansey G1. But see, the thing is, like, I can't even get the Pokeball to shake. There it goes. Yeah. One, two. That's well, because it's supposed to be a oh, Safari Zone Pokemon. Caught it? Alright. Yeah, I did catch it. Alright, now I'm running into Pokemon every two feet. Um, I'm just going to nickname this Chansey Thick. The two Cs. Thick.
Alright, is there an item down here? No, there's not an item down there. Alright, get me out of this hellhole. Um, I guess I could go grab Chansey out of the PC real quick. Actually, I'm not worried about it right now. I'll uh, come up here and get these items. I can get another encounter, too. I found TM08. I'm finding some good TM. Well, I'm finding TMs. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh. Sometimes my controller sticks, and, like, it'll... When I hit the up button... Yeah. Yo, it's solar beam. <laughs> That's lit. Uh, who do I want to teach it to? Uh, who who y'all can learn it? Um, my Electabuzz, my Magmar, uh, my Slowpoke, and my Dragonair. Hmm. Uh, Solar Beaming Dragonair would be kind of cool, but if you're not using it, then <clears throat> yeah, I might teach it to my Electabuzz to be honest, just because it doesn't um. All it has is quick attack. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's what I went ahead and did. I can get another encounter over here. See, normally this is where you'd, you'd run around catching Abra. Mm -hmm. Or attempting to catch Abra. <laughs> um, let's see. Chansey can learn Sing, Ground, Minimize. It doesn't learn an attacking move other that's than a Pound trade. until Double Edge. So I'm probably. Yo, with Victory Bell, that is uh, Dupe's Claws. So I can re encounter. Or not dupes, uh, species. Yeah, this little girl wants to trade a dugong for a magnemite. What the hell's wrong with you? It's lots of things. <laughs> and oh, it's, it's a oh, clefable, oh. is what I run into. It's not bad. You got more bulk. Uh, I do. You want that normal type thick girl grind. It's got mega punch. Nice. That's a heavy stab. Yeah, I'll definitely take that over uh, Chansey. I don't blame you. Not even as long as bit. I can catch it. Yeah. It, wait. Hold on. How does the fable? On. Oh, maybe it used a uh, metronome because it uh, normally doesn't use Mega Punch because it just it used seeing. God damn it! I'm asleep now. <laughs> Yeah, so I was going to have Double Slap, Metronome, Minimize, and Sing. Metronome could be fun. It could be. Could also be dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Fight me, old man. So, I, I, I don't know what I want to do here. Like, Chansey's not really worth it. Clefable's not really worth it. Yeah, I feel that. I don't know if they're worth a spot in the party. It's like I'm not I'm not really using Mushu or Delicious right now, so I really wish uh, Clem here was learning a water type scratch. that does not clam. Right, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and run away. So I'm just gonna forfeit that encounter. I don't even think I'm gonna bother training up my Dragonair to be honest. Yeah, because it's gonna take so long and. I'm gonna start battling these trainers up by uh, on my ways to build zones. Fair enough. I'm on the SSAM. Bruh. <laughs> I feel like I just keep continually like falling further behind. <laughs> That's because I don't stop for shit. I just keep going. I know I'm being uh, like too decisive time, in my. Uh... I've basically only been training two Pokemon this whole time, so it makes yeah. it a little bit easier. But it's gonna be harder later. Uh, two minute warning. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the half. This dude just called right. me a pup. <laughs> you insolent pup. What the hell's wrong with you, old man? <laughs> <I can't... laughs> you know, why does Ominate Sprite look like a like? Like a middle-aged soccer mom who just got really pissed off and wants to talk to the manager. Right. Um, if you look at, uh, did you talk about Ammonites? Like it's good. Yeah. It's like it looks like it's flexing almost. It's got its hands yeah, on his hips. Yeah. Like it's got its hands on his hips. Yeah. It's like bro. <laughs> Either that or it thinks it's Superman. 
Just put an S on that chest, boy. <laughs> like the rejected the squid billy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that level 5 graveler I just got is already level 11. It's what? You kind of cut it's already out there. Level, it's, our, it's already level 11. Oh, that's not bad. Ah, uh, no. It's the only thing about Discord is it cuts out sometimes. It does. Which, it, it's it's goofy, too, because, like, it says, you know, I've got three bars, perfect connection. Oh, but yeah. then it's like, no. Actually, I think I'm going to, I might start to try to, try, try to avoid some trainers. Try to catch up a little bit? Yeah. Good luck, sir. But I mean, I might not need to. I feel like there's no point. Like eventually, it's just it's gonna pay off for me in the long run. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna help you to have that experience for sure. If I if I wanted to get shifty with it, I could just turn off my battle animations. But I mean, that, that's kind of boring to Three, look at, to be honest. Two, one. That's the timer. All right, I am in a battle. I am not, so I'm saving my game. It's just a Zubat though, so I should be able to take it out pretty easily. Oh, the bitch who's supersonic. <laughs> no! And I hurt myself, oh my god, why did that do so much? I hurt myself in confusion and it did like 25 damage. Just about killed myself. Goddamn, son. God damn. The good news is, in an episode or two, I should be able to uh, evolve my gasoline to a haunter. Hey. Because it's sitting at level 20 right now. Alright, I am done with the battle, saving my game. I'm gonna save exactly my game, so at I'm four sure hours did, even. But... How long? Four hours even. That's weird. Mine's three and a half hours. Hmm. Have you been cheating? I have not. I mean, I could. <laughs> I there has been times where I've just like left my game open running. So. Oh well, that makes sense. All right. I don't know, but <laughs> we are gonna go ahead and get out of here. Do you have any final words for the people here on episode ten? Yeah. Um. No, I got nothing. No. <laughs> he said. He said no. <laughs> That's. Uh, <laughs> And that's going to do us for us. So uh, we're going to dip on out of here. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.